we're going to throw a mark for Jackson, and then we're going to know him off the mark and send him for a blind instead. So, mark. Now tell him, leave it here, here, dead, dead bird, right here. Good, line, no, no, here, here, right here, right, no, here, right there, good, no, leave that, here, good, back. There, Jackson was a little bit influenced by where he was before. He kept looking over to the right thing. Well, I know there's one, but there was one there, but I had to convince him, no, 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 just work with me, work with me, work with me. And then finally, when he pulled his head off that one and locked up where I wanted him to, I said, yeah, okay, good. And then he knew that's the one. Leave it. Now, does he remember the other one? Peel, where's your mark? Where's your mark? Good boy. I'm letting him tell me that he knows by lining himself up for this, I shouldn't have to do that. And he's right on it, so I'll just simply send him Jackson on his name, saying go for the one that you saw fall down. Good boy, Jack. That'll work. Good boy. I think he's showing off. He likes this camera stuff. Come on. Okay, we got a couple more out there. Let's go find him, pal. Sit. Leave it. Here. Dead. Back. Now I've forgotten where it is, so we're going to have to work together. Good boy, good. And in the field, um, you don't know where the duck ran. So that's where the teamwork comes in. I think it might be there, but if I watch the dog and I see the dog suddenly get really birdy, you see the tail start to get stiffened up and see the dog's head in the opposite direction, you go, okay, where I thought it was isn't where it is. I better trust the dog this time. And sometimes he doesn't know either, so he better trust me. And that's where this whole training thing really comes into play. Sit. These are the same drills you use for the um, the test that you have, the uh, competition? Well, this is how we train for our competitions, and this is the stuff for the real world. I mean, this is just, this is two very simple, basic drills. So it's <laughs> a lot more complicated stuff, but here we go. Heel. I think we've got them all. One, two, three, four. No, we're missing one. Where's the other one? Oh, where's the other one? Here. Okay, in this situation, we don't know. We might have a bird down, so we're gonna hunt it up. And on this command, I'm just going to say, go hunt, and that means he should work back and forth and quarter the area looking for scent to try to find the bird. So, Jackson, I'm an idiot, I can't find the bird. Help me out, sit. Okay, hunt him up, hunt him up. Little whistle signal, two whistles tells him to change direction. Hunt him up, hunt him up. Hunt him up. Good boy, hunt him up, hunt him up. Good boy, hunt him up, hunt him up. Hunt him up, hunt him up. Good one, hunt him up. You know what? Maybe we did get them all. Come on, let's go. Go find a bird. Find a bird. Hunt him up. Oh, 
there's a bird, there's a reward. Good boy. That's it. And to keep them happy in these uh, little training situations, we like to reward them with a freebie. Come up, come up, come up. That just means go chase, have fun, do what you do. That helps keep them very uh, eager to continue. Sometimes the training can be a bit of a grind. Some dogs like training more than others. Fit for an old guy like this, he's done this many, many, many times. Leave it. Thank you. Good boy. But you can see Sal, or still see that he's uh, pretty eager to go. Good boy. All right. Good. Jack, kettle. There you go.